so over the years there's been a debate between color grading um, 8 bits and 10 bits and it has been said you know by most color is that 8 bits tends to break out during color grading faster than um, 10 bits now that doesn't mean 8 bit is bad all right you just have a limit to which you can push the colors although for wedding nowadays i rarely shoot um, s log 3 or anything s log whatsoever i only shoot hlg the reason why i don't shoot s log is the fact that the color grading process is tedious so without further ado let me take you guys straight to my system and i'll show you guys how i color grade s log 3 footage all right guys so welcome to my premiere pro so this is what we're trying to achieve this was shot on an s log um and um there was a, uh, a wedding i shot um on my a7 III, and um the lens i used was it's a tamron 28 to 75 f2.8 dg2 version i mean the newer version so that's why you're shooting this so I'm gonna walk you guys through um, the raw footage. So this is the raw footage here, S log, but this is a color graded version. So so from here to here. So let me now walk you guys through what I did. So this is the base this is the first thing i create all right so let me take this out so this is the base so in here when i created this base i'm creating a layer I just create add this in the rename it over here so that's the big thing so the first thing i did was i went to the curve added a little bit of curve to it you know to make to add contrast a little bit and bump up um, the isos so let me ask for that. Then also, I adjusted um, the exposure. I don't really like touching contrast. So the black, so that at least it's closer to zero. And also I try to bring it up closer to 100, but not totally touching 100 and not totally touching zero. Yeah. Uh, not totally touching zero. So that was the basic thing I did here. Yeah. So and this was what I got from before. After just adding contrast, to make sure that there's enough contrast and the skin tone are back. I mean, not that far from the way it, it is, uh, the way it's meant to be. Sorry. Then I created another layer and I named it skin. So in here, when I created this skin, what I did basically was to go to HSL, you know, and um, I just used this key. I clicked on it and I picked a part of our skin, any part of our skin. And then I adjusted this part so when I picked it, it should like this. Alright. So definitely um then I was able to adjust this to maintain it. I'm trying to make sure this tutorial is as fast as possible, that's why I'm this fast. So I adjusted this, uh the mid tones, the um the mid -to shadows. The shadows the shadows and the highlights so it's you know and I added a little bit of sharpness to it and a little bit of uh, saturation So a little bit of saturation to read so that's the basic thing i did for for the hsl then i move over to environment now one of the last thing i did in this skin was that when i first did this skin let me go to this skin aspect um it was bleeding on part of this wall it was having a, an, a, fring, a fringing um, I don't know how to put it now. Let me invert it. So once inverted, you can see there's there's a fringe here which was affecting the colors. 
all right so i created the max then feathered the feathered it so you can see i created the max and then i feathered it so you can see so that was why i did but i tracked the mask also and that was what i did for that one then i was done with the skin so i created environment so this environment was where i adjusted these greens so let me bring it down so was where i adjusted these greens you can see the green i was able to pop Uma light on the greens and the likes so basically that was what i was able to to do with the environment so before after pay attention at this greens before after so then when i created added more before and after so and that was how i was able to create this so you create the base which add constructs let me go through from the beginning again so from the beginning you create the base all right add contrast boost you can see the the wave here is down all right boost this and you bring out the elementary color for the skin which selecting the skin under layer and you bring this environment up so everything can pop out then you cannot decide to add a separate fill to whatever you want and that was how i was able to achieve this color we started from this to this from this to this so i think with these few points of mind i've been able to show you guys that you know with eight bits you can actually pull a lot of you know colors out i think we are most of them carried away with new um gimmicks gimmicks, yeah, gimmicks of uh, oh they shoot 8k they shoot 10k they shoot uh, 11k they shoot can this can shoot 8k at um 422 10 beats it can shoot 8k at you know, 1000 frames per seconds you can tell your stories you know on a 1080p 24 frames not everything sometimes even off reason like i've stopped using 1080p throughout my footage i i've stopped using 60 frames throughout my footages in my maybe my instagram videos my instagram highlights i most of the time combine 60 frames to communicate some certain emotions or i majorly shoot or use 24 frames you know because it's not everything that wants to be slow trust me with that said can you like this video if you find this helpful and also hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and also hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time i post a new video so with that said Thank you guys. I celebrate you all. Bye.